Hey y'all, welcome back <laughs> to MCU Mondays. I am your host, Chris, here with my co-host, Debbie, as usual, and David, as he often is, here with us from the Geek News Now team. We're all part of that team. It's a wonderful team, and we're glad to be here so that we can talk. <laughs> about Loki. It- a glorious a glorious purpose and we're glad to be here <laughs> you know i was eating a bowl of cereal watching that <laughs> she came, she popped up and milk all over me <laughs> i see so many people talking about that as a they're like oh when they switched over to horror and i was like they were clearly leading up to something. If you weren't <laughs> waiting for something to happen. Now, I still get how you can still be starting on stuff like that. But I was watching it. I was just like, when's the thing that we're building up to going to happen? Hey, y'all. Okay, there it is. Like, <laughs> I told you she was evil. <laughs> is she? Is she? I think well, is she she sent Judge what's her name off on a on a little tangent that we don't know nothing about. Is he who remains evil? Oh, I think yeah, we're we'll contrasting right to what we're gonna get. Uh, he's pretty benevolent. He he's benevolent, and he's also been called many things, according like, to so, oh. like like leader and conqueror. Mm. Mephisto confirmed. Mm. No, Mephisto nothing. It's Kang. <laughs> Kang confirmed. He's yes. a conqueror. And actually, this is not just us, you know, badgering about. Like, uh, they confirmed that that actor is playing Kang. They confirmed him for back in the day for uh, Quantumania. They said he's playing Kang in Quantumania. And they said we weren't going to see him in this, but they might have been playing like, oh, ho, ho, you didn't see him. He's a variant. You saw a variant. Oh, he saw a variant. Oh, yeah. we can do whatever we want. And, uh. and, and honestly, there, there's a clue within the credits. Because if you watch the credits through it, they're one of the pamphlets that Loki that they're huh? watch watch the credits. Yeah, why not? I mean, they're only like 10, 20 minutes long. It's to see if good. there's like an end credit scene. Right, 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 right. That's, that's the only. <laughs> that's the only reason. You mean you're looking at the names? But <laughs> but if you look <laughs> at it, no, go ahead. One of, one of the pamphlets says, "So you're a variant," and it has all the little men, and each one of them has a different mm-hmm. shaped head. So each one of them's face if you will is different and things have changed who knows how much at the time variance authority we don't even know what it is anymore oh that's great we didn't know what it was at the beginning of the show and we have no idea what it is now at the end ah! was, it, was it ever anything what it, is this anything uh, uh uh apparently not or maybe it is in some reality or some other reality or this reality or that reality chaos reality i mean <sighs> Multiverse well, season, of madness. Season two should be very interesting. When is that going to happen? When is that scheduled for? Look at all the things they have scheduled. <laughs> now, maybe they just haven't mentioned it because we didn't want to spoil the fact that there will be a season two. This is the only thing they've said. There's going to be a season two. Well, is that just because you had a bunch of stuff you could have put in this that you didn't? What is what's going to happen? Is it going to have a conclusive ending? Because I watched the end of this and I was like, Oh, I'm glad that we wrapped up that story about Loki. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We didn't it, do anything. It ended exactly the same way WandaVision did. It left more questions oh, than answers. Oh, look at this. What's happening over here? <laughs> What's happening over there? Maybe I'll have to go to a theater to find out. <laughs> like, what? For real, though. Like... They did leave a whole lot of stuff up to questions like, why is this happening? What is this happening? Even the whole episode was mostly just a dialogue of 
he who remains just telling them stuff. But okay, so here. <laughs> I was a scientist from the 31st century, and I discovered how to create doorways into alternate realities. Okay. Then there was a multiversal war. I won the war. I found a beast that devours matter. I set up a thing at the end of the universe, and I'm immortal, and I control time. Now, hold on. How did being a scientist in the 31st century also get you immortality, time travel... Did he say immortality? Because she said, he said, I'm just flesh and blood, just like everybody else. And he gets killed, but he's in a citadel outside of or inside of time, as it would appear, or who knows? Because what do we actually know? Nothing. He's at the, he's at the end of time. Citadel past the end of time. Yeah. He, they literally start the episode by showing time, showing that it's in that circle that's going around where that takes place. So they're not wherever that is that citadel is actually a pretty possibly important thing i'm thinking because that's the only place that's really outside of this because even the tva time works differently here apparently doesn't mean you're not free you know you're, you're not free from anything that happens because at the end of this they don't know who he is and is that because a different it's version a of he who reigns kang took over and is now running but if there are a bunch of different multiverses and a bunch of different him, then are there a bunch of different TVAs? Are there how how does that work? We don't know. That's another question. Just more questions, no answers. It's what is this? Lost? The MCU is just turning into lost. It's like, <laughs> hey, are you ready for this? And then at the end of it, you're, you're like, Yeah, I can't wait to find out what happens. And at the end, you're like, That's I have a, a million questions. And they're like, Well, get ready to have they haven't hired one Jake. answered and a million other more asked when they you watch Hawkeye. They haven't asked why else you Abrams yet, so. <laughs> no one's watching Hawkeye for bows and arrows. They want to see like how it connects to the greater story. And it, uh, what? It's just, hey, make sure you watch every single thing, or else you're not going to know all the pieces of the puzzle. But what does the puzzle look like at the end? And they're like, <laughs> boner alert. I don't know. Like. <laughs> <laughs> We'll find out when we get there. <laughs> We're just going to keep throwing stuff, and uh, some of it's going to work, some of it's not going to. <laughs> and then we'll maybe we'll correct it later and just be like, that was a variance. You guys didn't get that then? Oh, because you didn't know what variants were. We luckily came up with them to cover that. <laughs> we had to fix the plot hole, so we you did. got to cover that up. <laughs> My God, <laughs> what a terrible move that was! So, Cat thought that was uh, that was her assumption that the oh. uh, that he hopped into a different timeline with a different TVA. But the argument there that I've seen is that, like, well, the the TVA they're like this is outside of time or whatever. The way I looked at it was they were governing the sacred timeline. So if now there's more, there's possibility for more different things to be taken over. But they never fully explained where the TVA was. Time does not. We still don't even know what it is. I don't even know if that's true anymore. Yeah, like I feel like it was a lie. <laughs> well, variants. That might be the way that you know variants drywall putty. That might be the way they looked at it in the sacred timeline. If that, were, but now we're, hey, we're just doing our own thing. So there's every variation. That's just a person. I mean, that was the whole thing about the people that were working in the TVA were variants, and that's why right before they sent Owen Wilson's character into the void or whatever, he was like, maybe send me because he finally accepted that he wasn't actually just created by the Time Lords to maintain the blah, 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 blah uh, dogma that he'd been taught since he became a person working at the TVA. He said, hey, maybe I'd like to go to some place where I have a jet ski. Who knows? Maybe I'd like to be somewhere where I actually know what's true. What is the truth? And there's an old quote that is, truth is beauty and beauty truth. Have
and that guy was a beauty. Oh, oh man, God, he comes back. Oh, he's still alive. Didn't you see the helmet? If that thing consumes everything, <laughs> right? And so it's consi- and he convinced uh, Thanos that he was a piece of rubble. Well, he convinced Goliath that he was just a helmet. Because why wouldn't I eat the helmet, too? If you're going to get the whole thing. If you're pissed off about not getting the city because it was just an illusion, you're going to get the guy that did it. He, yeah. Oh, he's coming back. It's going to be a Loki and Crokey. Old Loki and Croaky, uh series. <laughs> since he's the only it's one that, that can that, understand that, it. That's season two, Loki and Croaky. Or uh, we, we two and a half. And the Winter Soldier. <laughs> two and a half Crokies. It's old Loki, Croaky, and kid Loki. Hmm. Two and a half Lokis, all right? You have to get Ashton. Do the math however you want, but I guarantee you that's going to (laughs) sell. Right? (laughs) So what did you think of the episode, Debbie? What What did you think of the Citadel Beyond Time of He Who Remains? What did you think? I thought it was a great episode. I mean although we're still asking questions, I loved how it started out <clears throat> with the um, all the various little quotes from practically all the movies. And then, uh, you know, you hear um, Peggy and Steve's song playing. And then, you mm-hmm. know, it shows the, I, I don't know, if black holes, wormholes, I'm not sure what they were, but there were two of them. And the first part of it came from that first black hole. And then when you go into the second black hole, the only things you hear are classic Loki doing his glorious purpose, Sylvia doing uh, open your eyes and interesting. You hear vision Mm -hmm. saying the uh, what is uh, grief if not love persevering which i thought was interesting because i'm like so does this i'm well they they also had a bunch of quotes from other famous people throughout time yeah but as far as the mcu part of it i thought they were just establishing the fact that this is stuff happening including like the birth of the cosmos vision saying his thing because that's part of this timeline Loki saying their things that's part of this timeline. Random other quotes from people in life, like the inspirational stuff they were saying. And then they show that that's, this is time and it's all happening in a circle around this place in the middle. That was my interpretation of it. Well, I guess the connection I thought they were trying to make was that possibly. Because if you look on Disney Plus, Mm -hmm. on the um, timeline, it shows Endgame, then it shows Loki, and then it shows Wanda. So I'm kind of wondering, even though they say that, you know, time isn't isn't affected there at the TVA or whatever, I'm wondering if... Well, now that you brought that up, that brings up the end of WandaVision, we saw Wanda outside the cabin, and then we saw Wanda inside the cabin. So, was that a reference to... Ever, no one really knew what was going on there. It, was that a variant? Is she teaming with variants? Can she get between these? We know that she can create Nexus events, but how much does she know about this? And she's well, studying. I, so I did just you think- kind of wondered that since, you know, the timeline went kaplooey, at that moment... That is when she hears uh, her boys. Just a theory. Oh, so maybe since it could have happened, since okay, so you're saying while she's studying or whatever, she hears that when the timeline goes kablooey. Yep. And the only thing I would say to that is that did that happen at a point in time? Or did it happen outside of time and it's just now any point in time? Because is it only... is it, Okay, so we got up to this point on the sacred timeline and now all of a sudden there are variations? Or we were at a place outside of time and now like the whole ring, which is all of time, is just creating... Variants. And Variance. now that's probably putting too much thought into it. I agree. But I do that type of thing just because I'm like, well, why... Well, 
at what point in time did time start going or is that not how time works and well how does time work well you know that's kind of a question we've been asking for a long time did you get it a long time this is a question <laughs> we've been asking since one of it why don't we just find baby thanos you know and If you travel to the past, that past becomes your future, and your former present becomes the past, which can't now be changed by your new future. So back to the future is a bunch of bullshit? Thor, what do you know? Is he asleep? No, no. I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I feel at the end of these time travel conversations in the MCU. <laughs> like Thor sitting back there <laughs> duding it out. <laughs> <laughs> See his sleep? No, I'm, I'm pretty I'm sure he's pretty dead. Sure. They just created time travel and variants to cover their boner. Uh, that's That's the whole reason, I think. Nah, they probably had this plan for a while. <laughs> Marvel works in mysterious ways. We don't understand it until at some point. Yeah, at their choosing, <laughs> yeah, at their choosing, then it all makes sense. And then right. we'll be like, oh, okay. Well, uh, okay, so so at the end of WandaVision, we're like, okay, we don't expect anything to be wrapped up in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It'll all be wrapped up in Loki. And now Loki hasn't happened, so now we have to go on to the next plausible choice and say, oh, it'll all be wrapped up in Doctor Strange. We'll figure it out, and they'll explain everything in Doctor Strange. But we'll get to Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Two and it'll steps be the forward, same thing. Three steps backwards. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, oh. More questions. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, we're going to see the chaos that happens with what if, so. Uh, the, 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 the what if series has is, is piqued my curiosity at this point. We've got, what, three, four weeks till that hits? August 11th. Yeah. It's coming up very soon. And that's just going to be a, wow, Ugh, who knows? Every, anything could go anywhere. If we want to talk about variants of things, I mean, what if is basically just, well, what if Black Panther was Guardian of the Galaxy? Blah. What about zombies? Boom. You know? Yeah, it's, <laughs> That's the one I want to see. People are just throwing stuff at the wall. <laughs> well, the, 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 Marvel, the Marvel zombies have all been, you know, that, 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 that's been pretty prominent in the in the literature prior to the MCU. So them making an appearance within the, within the MCU, within the what ifs is, is very cool. Well, the timing is appropriate. I mean, after the variant stuff and before the multiverse of madness and everything like that, and Spider-Man, whatever's going to happen with that. No, oh, we we've seen that. a toy. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have seen that. There's a toy where it looks like Spider-Man's using magic. And oh. people are like, ah. But there's no trailer. There's no... There's a, there, I think there's also a toy of Spider-Man in a black uniform as well. Yeah, the it's that black. uniform. Yeah. And yeah, then there's kind of attachments. Blue... Yeah. Well, there's that's an attachment for when he's using the magic because people are getting upset about this. I actually replied, replied to a comment. There's a guy that was like, I just got to say, this uniform looks like kind of garbage. It looks like a kid's action figure. You know, that, that just kind of looks ridiculous. And I was like, the screenshot that you're looking at is of an action figure. And uh, that particular <laughs> shot, and I was like, and that particular, for how I said, first of all, that particular shot is when he's using the magic. And so they, they actually, actually why he has like blue bolts firing from his hand. And then I put a screenshot of like, him just in the costume. And I was like, that blue, it's he's like the blue attached to the emblem on his chest. It looks just like an action figure. I was like, yeah, that's an attachment that you add on for when he's using his magic. But when he's not, it looks like this. And I posted another picture just of the action figure. And he was like, oh yeah, that looks great. And I was like, that's the exact same action figure without like the attachments. The, the and, attachments. Then, and he's like, well, that looks way better. If it's that, I'm totally fine with it. And I'm like, this is the internet people. This look out you, everybody, just, 
look look out it doesn't matter i, I mean th- th- this has been around for a long time i remember going to the theaters to see batman oh, yeah. forever when Batman Forever hit and everybody's like, oh, what's the new Batman costume going to look like? You know, we got a new Batman. We got a new Val Kilmer. What's the new costume going to look like? And then all the toys came out and there was like 15 or 20 different Batmans. There's solar powered Batman and water jet Batman. And it's like, well, which one's the right one? And it's like none of them are right. They just want to sell toys. Well, that was also partially the age of toys. <laughs> Like, that was really when they were going for, like, that was when Star Wars blew up and, like, everyone was buying the toys. And, like, we could sell all different kinds of toys. We can sell toys for anything. We can sell toys that aren't even in the fucking movie. Like, let's just, you know, hey, oh, bad wham with his jetpack. And then you go watch the movie. It's like, he didn't have a jetpack in the movie. It's like, <laughs> but I got the toy of it. Uh, so there was, like, a huge time when I, and I remember that, too. It's like, that was one of the things I remember when I was buying Beast Wars Transformer toys was i was i was always jazzed when they <laughs> jazzed when they <laughs> transformed in the same way that they actually transformed in the show and i was like <laughs> look at that like they're that's i mean that's a hell of a commercial like you really you made an entire show out of it like <laughs> i wasn't mad at it either i was like look it transforms just like my toy <laughs> it's just like the toys it's great <laughs> that's why i bought it <laughs> So what did you guys think of uh, Ravona actually being a principal before she became a variant? Figures. Jerk. (laughs) (laughs) Already. Oh, wow. What are you, like an elementary school administrator? What a bitch. (laughs) No, I'm just kidding. Uh, (laughs) That's just me taking out my elementary school. Thanks. (laughs) so much i guess of it uh it was it was kind of a another thing that just raises more questions oh so she was a principal well that doesn't answer anything what are you doing why are you doing it and she's why like you show this to me her reason for doing things is that she's like i'm gonna keep lying and screwing people over because there has to be a reason behind all of this and owen wilson's <laughs> is like yeah, I'm trying to put an end to all of the lying and the bullcrap and, and find the person behind this. And she's like, no, I'm going to go find the person behind this. And it's like, what? And, and and so that also boils down to another question just thrown out in the last episode, tossed up in the air for, I guess, season two. Why not? What information did Miss Minutes give her? What is Miss Minutes? What is going on? She's Who's evil, here? I tell you. They just spent most of the show building up what the TVA was to have it be like that's actually not what it is, and none of this actually matters. And this isn't. And it was why the don't ultimate bone why don't alert. why don't Infinity Stones work? <laughs> well, they only work in the timeline. <laughs> So, Natasha, there's just going to be a billion more of her Black Widows everywhere. Like, that didn't matter. That was the biggest. Th- the deaths, they don't matter. Now there's just time. That doesn't matter. They have to now make things matter again. I don't know how they're going to do that, necessarily. Maybe we'll find out in Spider-Man. Maybe we'll find out in Multiverse of Madness. I know that all these things are going to be tied together. You know, be- they. I mean... Even yeah. more so than just like, oh, look, that kind of connects. Like, Doctor Strange is in Spider Man. Wanda is in Doctor Strange. Like, these things are very much, this is hopefully going to be the actual fountain of answers and undoubtedly more questions, but at least some sort of answer to like establishing the MCU going forward. But, what is happening? Like, well, okay. So, so at the end of at the end of it, of Loki, Lo, of Loki, Loki came forward. And he was like, "Hey, somebody's coming." You know, he he's 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 big. He's bad. He's coming fast, and blah blah blah. And then you had the one who remains talking about a multiversal multiversal war. Right now, you spent the first three phases, twenty two movies, twenty three. So, 23 building the infinity stone saga so to say okay we're gonna have now 
three TV series or two TV, four TV series, five because you got She Hulk coming, plus twenty some odd movies that are going to be explaining the multiversal wars. And it will, it'll, you know, you got phase four, phase five, and phase six. You've got six different phases. There's a lot of ground to cover and a lot of years to cover to cover this multiversal war that has been explained and that may well, be the big question right there that's the it's the build of the big bad whatever and if you there's so many different things to consider are branches their own actual timelines or do they have to create their own like circle until they're actually a real thing like is that what we're worried about it branching off and becoming its own thing that can also then branch out on or is that just you know go, looking too far into it, blah blah blah, blah. Who can, there's so much that's just not even explained because they are like the different multiverses had wars with each other. Or was that just propaganda that again, the TVA sold people so that they could make them do what they wanted to maintain the sacred timeline, which why did that even exist? If not to keep the other Kangs or whatever, from invading. If that's the only reason it's there, then why did he allow... Now, here's a question. Did he allow the Lokis to get there? Was that part of his plan, or was that, like, an accident? This is a... If he's the guy at the end, he who remains, and he's the one dictating the sacred timeline, and that's why it's a circle. That's kind of important, is that it's just in an unbroken, perfect circle. This is... And he's in the middle of it. How, why get there? How get there? Unless he allowed it. If he is the one who's putting this all together, then either A, they either broke the mold and then had a chance to change things, which then brings up the question, is the devil you know better than the one that you don't? Or he never actually had as much control as he claims. I think I think it boils down to I, I think he wanted them there. Um and and you know, he gave them two choices. He's like, You can either leave me in power and y'all can go run the TVA and y'all can have a portion of my power, you know, just kind of running things and keeping the timeline, or you can just kill me and I'll come back and do it all over again. And so I think he looked at it like, Okay, well, they're gonna they're gonna get here. I might as well let them in and it doesn't matter what they do, I'm still gonna win. Well, and uh, Miss Minutes also gave them choices when they first walked into the yeah. Citadel. Because she even said something about, "I'm going to plug. We'll plug you both back into the same same timeline. Y'all can be together." Mm -hmm. So it's like, why are you bargaining with them? Why are you trying to get them to make other choices if the end thing was whatever? But he also says, and this could be playing a manipulation that. But it got to me, it took to my heartstrings because I understand exactly. Like you have to you have to take the journey to understand the destination. He basically said something like that. So this is all about getting you in the mindset for what needs to be done. And I'm like, he might have just set all this up just so that they could kill him. But then it still results, but and but when he says see you soon. Is he has he just gone insane? And even though this variant of himself is dying, he's just saying "see you soon" because he knows that the other ones are going to end up showing up. Yep. He's not saying "see you soon" because like I'll be back. No, he's dying. He's nuts, and he's just like "see you soon" because you're going to see that face, and then you yep. do at the end of the episode. Obviously, but I mean, he does kind of come off as. A little bit unhinged. Uh, well, he's been doing kind of like Willy really Wonka. I was gonna I say, yeah, he's been doing it for so long. Here. I just need to go ahead, keep going. He's oh, been I, was, I was just gonna say he's he's been doing it for so long. He's probably been by himself for a long time too. I mean, absolutely. Even even if he's got just Miss Minutes. You can only take so much of Miss Minutes before you start going crazy. Well, that's the thing, and 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 I've been saying that that place is outside of time. <laughs> Which, in a way, it is. It's outside of at least the timeline. But clearly, time is still passing. When Loki and Lady Loki and Sylvie get there, like time is still progress. It's not like they're suddenly 
no one can move like things still so it's just maybe the understanding of how time or time works differently here too but how many times can you throw that around before people start saying <laughs> oh well time works differently here where it's kind of a cop out eventually but there you oh, go oh look at that it lines up perfectly so you're just a crazy guy in a purple suit running this entire shit show? Yep. That's right. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> and I was so heartbroken for Loki. Oh, jeez. You are heartbroken for him? Yeah. I mean, he tried so hard to get Sylvia to see uh, what he saw. And then they kissed. And then she just you know, pushed him right through the door. And I was like... Dang it. <laughs> you were, you were, she was a villain. She was evil. And you were being sympathetic to her. She you was more her. into the trap. You fell into the Zemo trap. No, I was not, I wasn't feeling sorry for her. I, I knew she wasn't going to do what, well, I don't know if either version would have been the right. Oh, payback is a bitch. Payback. Payback is a bitch. Payback. payback. She is a bad guy. So is Loki. Loki should have been more of a bad guy, but this whole thing has been about him, I guess, learning things. Yeah, he's and he's so by the end, hard. he was a good guy. Mm -hmm. but she didn't go through everything he did. We had this entire conversation about Loki when he first entered the show. We said he's not the one who's been in Thor 3, he hasn't been in Ragnarok. So, how did he how is he gonna? react to these different things. I think it's also telling in what he wears during this entire series. People have been saying, like, this wasn't the action pack. Like, this wasn't... He wasn't acting the way and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, look at what he's wearing. He's wearing kind of, usually, the detective uniform. <laughs> he's investigating. He's not in his, like, conqueror role. He's more in his, like... Learn stuff. Role. What the... F yeah, I'm learning, learning. this. I'm, I'm yeah. a detective. I'm trying to figure it out. And so, and and only for that reason do I actually have like some quite like he just becomes so much of a underfoot character though in his own show. But at the same time, there's so many other versions of him. Which why were there so many versions of him? They kept just saying it's because he's a survivor. But was that part of it too? Like. Or maybe they'll just never answer any of these questions and they'll just be like, I hope you move on to enjoy what if and then go <laughs> Hawkeye, Eternals, uh, blah, blah, blah. Why was this the way it was? Hey, Spider-Man! <laughs> 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 and then, you know, they all, two years from now... See, I'm curious now, too, about how, the, how are the Eternals going to play into all of this? So long, Earth! Thanks for the air and whatnot. There is oh, a the in one of the in one of the tra or I guess there's only been one or two trailers for Eternals, but I think it was the second one that said they couldn't in interfere until now. So I wonder if that's alluding. If the the timeline splitting is well, is that's what really someone easy. said. Yeah. Well, they said we've never interfered until now. It's like. Is the reason that they're interfering now because of the timeline change? But if so, that's going to make a lot of their story, I guess, about time travel. What time? Well, not even time travel. Sorry, not, but reality, different realities. And like, how much really are they going to get into that before Multiverse of Madness? I, I'm thinking the Eternals is possibly going to be about something different like shang chi that's going to be more i'm wondering i'm not gonna say this... grounded but i'm i think spider-man and dr strange are going to be more like tackling this stuff that we're we're seeing at the end of loki well and more I... so than I'm, I'm wondering too if shang chi and um the eternals take place they're they're, they're going to be like captain marvel to where they take place previously in a different time in a, or in a different Black time period. widow uh, Black been, Widow, yeah, yeah, same thing. Where it's just it, it, it's happening. It happened. It happened right. during the first Avengers movie, but we just kept it over here for 
And they've been part. actually uh, setting it up, the MCU, for more things like that, the MCU, as it were, because, you know, for the original MCU, uh, leading up to Endgame, everything kind of happened in order. Now, obviously, with some of the first things, Captain America, they had to get some things. They had Captain America and you know, Captain Marvel out. both. And the Guardians of the Galaxy movies actually a bit later were a little off center and Spider Man, but for the most part it was like you can watch them through. Yeah. For the most part. That's gonna be different now that they're introducing multiverses, alternate universes, alternate timelines, blah 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 blah. blah. So you're gonna be able to go back in time and recast people for different roles and say, Well, what if? Because People are going to get furious if they see Iron Man being played by someone other. I've seen the reactions. <laughs> They're like, Tom Cruise being considered for Iron Man role in Doctor Strange. And people are like, no one could be. And I scrolled through a lot of comments. By the way. <laughs> like I was scrolling and scrolling. And I was like, where are the level of people that understand what's happening? It's like, there are none of them. It was like on an E! Hollywood story. It's like, Tom Cruise being considered for Iron Man role in Doctor Strange, and, and just the general public was furious, and I was like, none of you get that that's for an alternate reality Iron Man? And that Tom Cruise is a great casting? No. For an alternate, an alternate reality? It's Tom How? Cruise. Tom, it's Tom yes! friggin' Cruise. No. Exactly. Tom no, Cruise you want is garbage. Everything That's exactly who garbage. you want. Robert Downey Jr. was garbage before he got the Iron Man role. That's part of why they cast him for it. It's <laughs> part of the point of why they made Iron Man. He literally said, I want to make a character that people should hate, and then I want to make them love him. And that's why they made, and during the Cold War, when the young people, this is Stan Lee, the young people, if they hated anything, they hated war. So I created a character who's literally an industrialist, a futurist, a warmongering weapons builder, and I made them love him. So yes, Tom Cruise would be a great alternate world, just like Robert. De He's not a likable person. You shouldn't like him. Okay. And it's an alternate universe. That's the whole point. It has nothing you to do with can't... the character of Iron Man. It has everything to do with the actor Tom Cruise. I just don't but, like Tom Cruise. Okay. Well, that's aside from that. The okay. problem that most people had was that it wasn't Robert Downey Jr. being no. cast in the role. They were no. furious. That they're like, no one but RDJ can play this character. And I was like, first of all, that's insane. Second of all, this is alternate reality. If they have the same guy play him in an alternate reality, it doesn't, it doesn't seem like an alternate reality. Maybe seems like a different timeline or something, but, and I can already tell, like, that's getting too far for some people, which is why I yeah. think they've introduced this in the way that they have with WandaVision with the different time period, uh, Loki with the TVA, and then they're going to have what if, and then they're going to have the multiverse of madness. So hopefully if you're even halfway paying to paying attention to Marvel, you'll be getting it slapped into your brain, that there's not just <laughs> one set. It's not one thing. Robert yeah. Downey Jr. Iron you can. Boy. Yeah. It's true. I mean, I, I'll I'll have a hard time seeing different actors playing well, think different about roles that we know and well. Think about Superman. Think about Captain America. Nineteen ninety Captain America. Nineteen seventy. Other people have played these roles. We need to. It's time to expand. That it's you know what it's like. I'm going to tell you exactly what it's like. It's exactly like George Lucas selling Star Wars to Disney. Because that gives other people opportunities to make those movies. They were solely his for so long. And now we've got other opportunities. There's other ideas out there. There's other films out there. We can expand on it. And when they keep going back to the source material, which they call legends and acting. Anyway. Um... <laughs> no, don't start that. <laughs> you brought up Star Wars. so <laughs> now, I'm just, I was making a broad generalization. Did not need an argument. Thrawn. I just fear he, he sold it because he got tired of all the fanboys giving him crap. No matter what he did, nobody was happy. He That's got money. Okay? <laughs> Four billion? I'd take it any day of the week. Also, people arguing, that's money. What do people write news articles about? Things nobody's going to care about or get upset about? No, you put a headline up. That it's going to infuriate people. In that aspect, Star Wars is done better than any other property ever. <laughs> 
I'm infuriated by this <laughs> that I can write tons of articles about it. But it did bring us the Mandalorian, so did it? Did mm, mm, mm. I'm I love the Mandalorian. I'm looking forward to the Book of Boba Fett. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the donut. I had to get back into Marvel. We need to get we need to get back in Marvel mode. Into Marvel, Marvel yeah. Yeah. I'm talking about. That's a good. No, nothing better than a hammer dance. I do love the hammer dance. <laughs> Armor <laughs> wars, like I'm just like, oh, if they don't bring him back, I'm just gonna. Oh, that's not right. No. Oh, oh no. <laughs> but now, in whatever year this is, the audience wants action and seats with beverage holders, but mainly action. Shut up and take my money. <laughs> I'm gonna do this. Give me something here. You're like a sphinx. I I, I can't read you. I think I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! But so with Loki season two, do you think he's gonna be like working for the TVA again? Do you think, or do you think he's quickly gonna leave there? Any ideas on what that's gonna be? I don't think he's gonna. I don't know because Mobius thinks he's a or name. doesn't know who he is. Mobius started out saying like I've I know every detail of your life, and now he's like, who are you? He thinks he's an analyst from like some other department, or because again, he was outside of time, and then got pushed back into it, and so I, I don't know if that line? comes into it. Yeah, well, on what timeline? Is the TVA on timelines? It's supposed to be. Is no. this just because we've saw the, the circle with the things branching out, assuming those are each their own little timeline. So is he just on like a, one TVA that exists on one of these places? Or is the TVA a place like the Citadel at the end of time where there's just one, but it doesn't, it, I would. If, it, okay. 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 Bear, bear with me. I'm the bear. Okay. Go so ahead. the TVA, this is my theory, the TVA exists outside of time, like the Citadel at the end of time. However, since the timeline was a circle, and it was running in a circle, and then it went kablooey, and it started branching everywhere, time itself has changed. So when Loki reinserted, or when Loki went back to the TVA, and he was there outside of time, that was Mobius... And that was the variant Mobius, and that was the Mobius that we all know and love. But because time had changed and time had branched the way that it did, he did not know who Loki was. That had that Loki possibly had never even existed. Dumb steps on pussies. You're so dark. Do you sure you're not from the DC universe? <laughs> that's really crazy. I mean, that's that, 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 that's just it's a mind melt, but. If you stop and think about it for just a minute, and now don't think too hard about it because you will melt your mind. But right next to a huge steaming bowl of foreshadowing. What do you think uh, that means about Loki and Sylvie? What do you think is going to happen with Sylvie? Sylvie's still there. Sylvie's still at the end of time. She's got there. She's there with the time machine, and a, a, I assume a reality machine now because like again what does that device do the the device of he who remains if every other one is a time machine but also we even saw in the first episode when the clip from loki's life runs out and it's film it's on film strips the first there's like two different film strips edited together and they're from like universe a and b not sim that simply put but like 116b and 116a or something like that so like does she have the ability 
to go to whatever timeline or whatever variant or whatever she wants? Or is, she... is 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 Sylvie gonna be this? Everyone was like Loki's gonna be the one at the end. It's gonna be a Loki in control. Maybe it wasn't at the beginning of the episode, but maybe it is now. Well, and and it could be too. I mean, she could have been there at the Citadel, and he, you know, she killed him, and he said, "See you real soon." And he died, and his replacement variant for lack of a better term showed up and is now holding her or has her or you know however you want to put it you know fetter to the rank or whatever but that may be season two is loki tr one trying to refriend Mo uh, mobius and the other is we got to get back to that citadel at the end of time and go save sylvie i think it just would have been awesome if right after she had killed him and then sank down to her knees and then they zoom in on the window where it shows the thing branching if they had gone back in on her and then just had a bunch of different doors opening and different like Kangs coming in and starting like fighting it now that wouldn't make sense because Kang's too smart for that kind of thing but like <laughs> maybe if there's infinite number of Kangs then maybe a bunch of the dumber infinite numbers like it's rick literally i saw this comment on youtube and i loved it I was like, so it's rick and morty but with extra steps <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a gateway that goes anywhere you can do anything i just needed loki to kill me before we could start playing into that da, 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 da. and again if it's a guy that has access to all of time then and he was killed outside of time and then it begins what who's to say that it just begins after endgame why aren't there at all of time now any variant can shoot off and no one's there to police it, so But the TVA does still exist. I mean Yeah, but they were look, even saying, look, like, look, look here's sixty two variants shooting off this thing. What does he want us to do? Just let it all go? So there's still a time and uh, but but again, okay, if there is still a TVA, like you said, oh, but that was just on a different timeline. Well, if it's just on a different timeline, then how are they keeping track of all the timelines? How could they? Okay, so they can't, right? It would be pointless to have a TVA if that was the way things work. So the TVA must exist in some way. And I think we're going to get some of these questions answered. Haven't mentioned this one yet. In Ant-Man Quantumania, the first place where Kang is actually scheduled to appear. And look at this guy. He doesn't care about timing at all. He what? showed up in Loki. What year does uh, Ant-Man come out? Uh, next, it's 20, I think it's uh, I think 22, 23. I think, I think tw it's 22. I think 22. I think late 22. It couldn't be 22. Let me check because I, I kind of wondered if we, would get, if we would get a season two Loki right before the Ant Man movie. Right, right oh my gosh, 2023. Wait, February 2023. So season two will probably come out before Ant Man. This, uh, you think? Yeah. I'm betting season you two. You think they're going to shoot the whole thing and premiere it before February? Well, 23 is like two years away. Yeah. Well, I'd be interested to see that. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Loki season two happens about this exact same time next year so that we can all be talking about, okay. Because right about the, I'd be when, when does when does, when does uh, what part of the year next year does uh, um, what's it called uh, Multiverse of Madness come out? Uh, May, February May. See, okay, so so that gives time for Multiverse of Madness to come out. You drop season two of Loki right after that, and that leaves everybody with a bunch of questions. That oh, we're going to answer all of those questions in. Ant Man Quantum Mania. So you gotta wait until February of next year. That makes sense. That's what I do. <laughs> just to confuse the crap out of everybody. <laughs> probably do something totally different and really screw us up. <laughs> oh yeah. Kiff, we have a conundrum. Oh. Uh. <laughs> And 
Here we go. <laughs> It'll be fine. Um, I don't know. I was on Loki on the season finale. While I enjoyed it, I was a little bit disappointed in the... It was more of a like, ooh, look at what's to come, rather than here's a... Here's here's some closure. Here's the, here's the end of your story. Here's the beginning of Loki. Here's the... It's like, you kind of... I'd like more of this. I, I love that things connect. I'm a big fan of that. Connect it. Go for it. It rewards people that watch everything. But uh, there was much more of just like connecting things here than telling me a story about Loki. There were tons of Lokis, but I don't even know. Like, what's what was the point of this other than to be like, get ready for Kang, which we were already doing that. Well, yeah, but it, it's it's setting up for what if, and I mean, Kevin had pretty much said that. that, yeah, but that was I, gonna be I, I'm not arguing. I'm not arguing that it's not setting things up. I said, yes, it's doing tons of that. I just wish I had there was a little more, more closure. A, something about actually Loki. Like, what did I learn? What did, what, what did we get from the, and, and again, the sacred timeline version of Loki, I guess we're going to have to call him that from now on. God, things are going to get complicated. So I <laughs> that is to say sacred timeline version A1B, it's going to be as complicated as talking about the comics pretty soon. Isn't that what we were going for? When everyone's special. I think I think that one's special. I, 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 I although I would have liked some closure, I I will say this: um, you can watch any TV show anywhere today, and when you get to a season finale, nine times out of ten, if there's another season, it's going to end on a cliffhanger so that you come back the next season. That's true. And this ended exactly the way it needed to. It ended on a oh my gosh, what's going to happen next? I got to wait until season two comes out and be pissed off until it does. I hear you. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. Um, boy, even when you said that, I was like, movies have done it worse. I mean, like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean too. <laughs> Don't even get me that was just that like. You, you, go see the next movie. You know, yeah. So the Matrix movies were all like that. Mm, it's been done way worse. I'm not saying that from the ashes. Of captivity, never has a greater phoenix metaphor been personified in human history. God help me, I love that man. <laughs> no, it's Tom Cruise now. Tom Cruise's new Iron Look Man. Look how angry you are just thinking about it. That was the thing. It's like an instant fury at react, and I'm like, I'm not saying that again, that's him. Again, I'm not replacing. Him in all the movies, I'm not like facelifting his face out, putting Tom Cruise in. People will try, people will do it. I wasn't suggesting that at all, but you're still just like, I swear to God, the suggestion <laughs> of Tom Cruise is in fear, it insults my being. And it has, again, it has nothing to do with him as the character. Is that an accurate depiction of your feeling? No, no. Eh, oh, maybe. <laughs> that's yeah, maybe. <laughs> if someone were to say we're replacing actual Robert Downey Jr. with Tom Cruise, then that would certainly be my reaction. <laughs> <laughs> replacing yeah! with Bob. <laughs> Great bird. I want. My bird. My bird. <laughs> Is that your bird? I'm confused. You said it wasn't, but now it looks like your best of pals. You love that bird, don't you? You know what? Take the bird. I take his shoes, too. Take his shoes, too. I took your stuff. You don't like that? <laughs> God, bring him back for Armor Wars. He's so good. Do we want to talk about Black Widow? 
Well, they haven't seen it yet. I, I haven't to... seen it yet. Do do to we don't have to. I haven't seen it, and then I I the, the I plan mean, we can, is this we can week. wait till next week because I'm assuming we will have a behind the scenes kind of thing from Loki next week or this week. I mean, don't oh. make assumptions. Wait. <laughs> I had to get that clip. I was like, of all the things that I need to have. <laughs> ah, Tom is so great. <laughs> Why is there an alligator in here? It's a crocodile. He's a Loki. <laughs> it's good stuff. But yeah, we don't have to talk about it right now. We can wait. Um, I've already we. I mean, we talked about something last week. We'll talk about it more in depth. Although, I will say, uh, David, that's that's where. That's where that came from. That's okay. why, partially, because that's Ray. That's Ray Winstone, and he's hmm. in the movie. And when I was watching the film, Black Widow. And I recognized him. I was like, oh, man. I thought of King Arthur. And I was like, that movie's great. And then I watched King Arthur. And I was like, that was great. Black Widow was okay. But <laughs> King Arthur from 2004. Tristan. How do you do that? I am for the middle. Go watch King Arthur 2004 is all I'm saying. <laughs> but also... Black Widow is pretty good. It's a great action movie. I don't know. It just it came out way too late. Mm -hmm. well, take, it was, a, take away the delay, and it, it was didn't, still, it was still too late. It was it was unfortunate that it came out too late. It and it was, is true. It, it had nothing to do with oh well, we're just putting it off so we can give you a better movie, better movie. It was a, I mean, there was stuff going on, and you just couldn't release it. Now that being said. I, and I know I had said this earlier in the chat with you guys. I was like, hey, if y'all want to discuss it, go ahead and discuss it. Because chances are I've seen the entire movie. As many previews have come out for that stupid thing. I don't think yeah. that you have. When I watched it, I definitely saw. I mean, there's obviously they're not going to show everything. Obviously. So th there's going to be. I mean, they didn't even show Ray Winstone in any of those trailers, obviously. But he's not even. The big bad. He's kind of like the guy, like the CEO behind the big bad. But there's, the there's, man. there's other things that we have to talk about, like Taskmaster things. Like you know, Taskmaster's in it. Well, there's things we have to talk about with that. Uh, her family. Well, there's things we have to talk about with that. I'd like to go in detail with it. I'd rather you'd have seen it so that we can go into it and talk about it, and we can do that next week. That's totally good. If, this, if, I was if I more get a interested. To go see it, yes. I was more interested in talking about Loki now anyway. So, and we did that um, pretty thoroughly. Speaking of that, Loki, the series, the whole thing. I have been falling for 30 minutes. Is there anything in particular now that you wanted to bring up, say, before we end the show? I, I I will say I like the way it ended because when he came out, I mean, that was the exact same thing that uh, Banner said when in uh, Infinity War, when he was delivered to, to Strange. He's coming. He's coming. We don't know. you know. Oh. So so him running up to, to cool. what's his name going? Mobius. He's coming. There's somebody coming. Right. You know, we got to prepare. We got a we, we got a war coming on. So that was cool. Yeah, and, then, and, in, and when and, he went and looked out, there was only one statue. Previously, there had been three, the three timekeeper statues, and now there's and now only the just one. Kang. So, very, very subtle things, but very cool nonetheless. And also, when he says uh, he's coming in Endgame or Infinity War, uh, Doctor Strange is like, "Who? Who? In this, he's like, "Who are you? Like, he doesn't even know at all. That's another." symmetrical symmetry kind of mm -hmm. neat thing oh i know something i want to say debbie you go first i'll go last is there anything else you wanted to say about loki the series or um anything about this episode 
Not really. I mean, I, I, I loved the series. Of course, y'all know I'm, you know, in love with Tom Hiddleston. So. <laughs> it's and a, uh, Geralt. I'm ecstatic and, uh, for season two. I mean, I had heard rumors, but nothing was official, and I hate getting my hopes up based Mephisto. on rumors. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> so He'll when, be uh, there. He'll be there. <laughs> when oh, that end oh, uh, yeah. credit scene came out, you know, and it said, you know, Loki will return in season two. I, I was ecstatic. I was like, yes. We, I, 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 told, I, I watched it the second time. And when I did, I watched it with my son. And he was like, is there an end credit scene? And I was like, yeah. And it pretty much guarantees a season two. And it got to that end credit scene. And it was just that <laughs> Loki. And it was like, oh, yeah, I guess there will be a season two. I was like, all right, there will be. What did I say? <laughs> I told you. You're welcome, son. <laughs> I was on. I wanted to mention. Um, there are a lot of things I liked about this show. There were some things I didn't. I could probably go into great detail on a lot of them, but I should write that down first. One of the great things that I did like uh, was not in the last episode, but in the fifth episode, when old Loki is doing his thing and doing his glorious purpose stuff. The music is just awesome and it's partially because it's based upon triumphant music like hero triumphant music by the next episode i'll make sure that i have something to prove exactly what i'm talking about but it's like but it's its own music but it's based off of but it's slightly different in so that it's tragic and triumphant i'll bring it forth next time but when I first watched the episode, I was listening to that music and I was like, this is that song. And then it was slightly different. I was like, that's, but it was so, it was so good that, and it made that scene for me, like without that music, I probably would have been like, what was the point of you getting that golden dagger thing that literally played no part in the entire show? <laughs> oh, do we forget about that? Well, surely it'll pay off in the final episode. Ain't even used to cut the apple. All right, like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even whip it out. Uh, maybe he did then, but still, <laughs> I, don't even, I don't think so. Okay, so he points it at her, but that's like the most. And I guess he swords. Uh oh. But never comes fully into play. Anyway, <laughs> now I've glitched, so we can call it. <laughs> we can call it an episode. <laughs> oh, I love Tom. He's great. <laughs> And I really hope he comes back. He did such a good <laughs> job. I'll have to show you guys a meme. I don't have it here. I'll try and bring it next week. Um, that they show his headshots when he was years younger. And they compare him to like Tom Hiddleston's current Loki. And it's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so much like him. When his, yeah, it's crazy. Um, but anyway, I guess that's it for us uh today here on mcm is that it we're done right yeah okay uh so <laughs> i'm just making sure i don't i don't know cut anyone off or well if we forget something we'll get it next week that's right boom hey buddy Didn't expect to see you here look it's me i'm here deal with it let's I move on i, I just i drop just, it all right and I'm going to leave you with this. Dan, all right, I, let me ask you this one time. What master do you serve? What master do I serve? What